Hey everybody, Dr. Ryan Hewitt here. Uh, today what I'm talking to you about is elbow pain. So my disclaimer is first of all, if you have some acute elbow pain or some instability, always make sure that you uh, seek the advice of a, a healthcare practitioner, um, preferably a movement practitioner, a movement expert that um, you know can give you a, more of a specific diagnosis and treatment plan, uh, possibly do some imaging for you. Um, but if you have some chronic soreness in the elbow uh, or you're looking for better recovery in terms of uh, if your elbows get sore or you know even preventative for recovery, um, basically what I'm going to show you here is how to uh, create better elbow health. So of course the tissues above and below the elbow, if those become tense, um, what's, what it's going to do is pull on the joint. So the tissues below are of course the forearm muscles, the flexors and the extensors. And of course above are the bicep, triceps, so the flexors and extensors of the elbow. So what we're going to do first is um, we're going to do the, the lower part here, the forearm. What I've done already is create, created some, some tension on the fascia with a piece of voodoo floss or mobility band, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to tension the forearm muscles and we're going to take our uh, Acumobility mobility balls and or you could use lacrosse balls. I've got two of them here. So what I'm going to do is place one on the bottom and one I'm going to use on the top to create some compression. And we're going to go directly above and below, okay, each other like this. And what we're going to do, preferably you're off the edge of a table so you can flex and extend the wrist as you press into both of those sides. And we're going to move all the way up the forearm. And you can kind of move around to all the different individual little muscles in the forearm. Okay, whether you have medial elbow pain or lateral elbow pain, it doesn't matter. Tennis elbow, golf, golfer's elbow, all these muscles are involved. You're going to find some nasty trigger points in there likely if you have any sort of elbow pain. So we're going to treat those, okay? You can also do that in the other direction. Okay, you can press on the arm flexors like this. If you don't have access to either of these, what I like to do also is just take my knee press it into the forearm and actually flex and extend like this. You can go all the way up the forearm like this, okay? To create a little extra fascial tensioning, you can actually grab a third mechanism, crush the ball as you're flexing and extending here. So you're on top like this, crushing the ball, flexing and extending, creating maximal fascial tensioning, hydrating all those tissues, creating all that proprioceptive feedback lighting up the nervous system, okay? So that's below the forearm. I'm gonna take this voodoo floss off. It's not cutting off the circulation anymore. You can actually floss the upper arm as well. For time purposes, I'm not going to. What I'm gonna do is show you the upper arm next. We're gonna go on the tricep on the bottom, bicep on the top, and we're gonna do the same. We're gonna flex and extend. You wanna create maximal fascial tension. You're gonna grab another mobility ball or lacrosse ball and crush it. As you're flexing, extending, this can be pretty tender, okay? Especially if you have elbow, posterior elbow pain in the from the tricep. This is also great if you have any sort of anterior shoulder pain from tensioning of the bicep. So you're gonna treat above and below like that. And next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you a couple stretches for the forearms. So, on the ground and or on a bench. We're gonna start here. We're gonna create straightening of the elbow like this and you're gonna press into the palms and you're gonna hold for 15 seconds. We're also gonna go into external rotation with the hands like this. We're gonna go all the way externally rotated towards the body, okay? And I like to do both sides. As a chiropractor, my wrists take quite a beating, so I definitely need this every day. Okay, so we hold this. This is pretty tender for a lot of people. And we'll go all angles like this. Okay, so we've held 15 seconds in each position. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure, remember, so we're gonna release and we're going to stabilize and activate. Activation drills I like, you just take a simple light dumbbell and first of all, with a flexed, elbow, slightly flexed elbow, we're gonna pronate and supinate. You should feel those forearm muscles work in here. You can do sets of 15 per arm like this. What you also wanna do is totally extend the elbow and do the same, makes it a little more challenging, isolates different muscle groups like that, okay? You can also do the old traditional forearm curls like this, okay, with bent elbow. 
can also do the opposite extensors and with a straight elbow as well open up that chain completely okay and also good old hammer curls you can use a band such as this and we're going to keep the arms or sorry you're going to keep the wrists completely facing the floor okay in other words you're going to pronate and you're going to flex and extend like this you know a good hammer curl with the band you should feel with brachioradialis all those extensors working in the forearms so that's how you uh, maintain treat the elbow um, hopefully that helps any of you struggling with elbow pain um, if you're struggling any further make sure that uh, you seek help from a, a practitioner um, you know to get a, a full assessment so hopefully that helps